Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. Our adventure continues in Portugal as we head inland to explore the far north. Winding our way into the mountains, we find ourselves in a truly stunning landscape, a stark contrast from our road trip so far. This lush green landscape is steeped in thousands of years of history with beautiful waterfalls and ancient protected forests. This region soon became our favourite place in Portugal. You'll soon see why. So good morning from the campsite, it's rather gorgeous, you can hear the birds tweeting, blue sky, we didn't sleep as well as we thought but that's possibly because we have full bellies and lots on our brains, but it's pretty glorious isn't it Cal? It's not bad. So a few chores to do this morning and then we'll be off. So we both really enjoyed our stay at the campsite and it was quite fortunate that it was quite quiet so we had the, uh, the facilities and everything to ourselves which is handy and it was about a 20 minute walk or so into the town yesterday for our meal, that's where we left you and we did have a really nice little meal didn't we? Yes, very authentic, very rustic, not too bad, bad a cost. No. Um, it's not something that we've been doing very much of recently, so it was nice to get out of the van and see some civilization and put on some fresh clothes. <laughs> and yeah, it was good. But I'm looking forward to today. Um, yesterday, the sights that we saw were quite surprising. Very unique landscape, especially up on the mountain pass. Just something I really wasn't expecting, so we're looking forward to seeing more today. Hopefully. As for today's adventure, we are hunting out some of the most beautiful waterfalls in the National Park. And of course, en route we are treated to a scenic drive complete with wild horses. As you do. So we're now at Tahiti Waterfalls. It's a little bit of a trek down there to go and see, hopefully, stunning waterfalls. The Tahiti waterfalls are a short distance from the village of Ermida. The path down to the waterfall can be quite dangerous, especially when the rocks are wet. But we thought it's well worth the risk, especially when there's no other soul about. So the path we went down the first time, we thought it was the only path, turns out it's not. We can only get about halfway down, but looking on our new walking app, we found this little trail which will hopefully take us right to the very bottom, hopefully. We saw a few people down there and was like, oh, yeah. I want to get down there. We thought there's a secret way in, but apparently I think it's this one, hopefully. Yep. We'll give it a go, see what yep. we can find. That's it. The new app in question is called All Trails and it has been extremely useful in this national park. What a magical place. Well, Callum's got 
so jump wrong. It's boiling down here. Yeah. We've been stood in this spot for about 15 minutes because we we really want to cross over and get onto that little beach down there and see the waterfall from in front. But it's going to take a big jump. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we should risk it. I, yeah. I want to. But the sensible part of me says uh, if we've been debating it this long, probably shouldn't do it. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell the gap. That one's too big. That one's definitely too big. And the water's very fast. So if you do end up going in, you're going to go uh, downstream a little bit. And Meg nearly slipped in there anyway. So we're thinking we might knock us on the head. Oh, well. We might regret it, but... Let's go and get another clementine and drown our sorrows in that clementine juice. Oh. So after those beautiful clementines that we strategically picked from the tree, we're moving on and we're probably going to be seeing another waterfall. Um, I'm not sure how it compares to what we've just seen, but... Turn left onto M1276. But I'm excited and then hopefully we're going to end the day somewhere near um, a nice vantage point, hopefully for sunset, if all goes to plan. The valley is parked, let's go and check out the next waterfall, which is called Cascata do Ardo. That away. Let's get your app out actually, just make sure we are going the right way. Don't want a repeat of yesterday, thank you! So we did quite a bit of walking yesterday, we've done a bit already today and we'll be doing some more tomorrow. But to see the waterfall in all its glory, I assume we've got to go up these 1,000 steps it looks like. And that's probably an exaggeration but it looks quite far. Are you going to attempt to count? One! <laughs> if you really hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be all right, but who, who are you, <laughs> man? <laughs> Serves me right. Oh, no. Oh. The waterfall has a series of drops, but the main visible drop is 15 meters. Pretty impressive, very nice waterfall. Possibly not as impressive as the previous one. We could go up higher, up there, but I'm not sure my legs are gonna cope. Mine won't. At least it, it wasn't quite as far as I thought it was up these steps. There's only about 50, yeah. if that. So once again, it's time to jump back in the van and we're heading towards the viewpoint. I'm not sure exactly how close it is, but I doubt it's very far. We're now at the Miradoro do Pedra Bella. It's my best, it's my best shot, I'm afraid. Come on, let's go see. From the viewpoint, you can see all the way across the National Park and the Canisada Reservoir. It was stunning. So, when you see us next, we will be about here. So it's been a few minutes, but we've worked our way down the hill and we actually picked up two hitchhikers on the way too. Um, they are from England as well, so we had a nice chat on the way down, which was quite fun. And we're hoping that our good deed will be returned because we are going to hopefully park in this beautiful park up spot right next to the lake. It's stunning. It reminds me a little bit of um, Lake Como, mm. the Lake District, obviously in England, and also like the lakes that you see in Vietnam. So that's it for today. We'll rejoin you tomorrow, which will be our last day in Portugal before we cross over into Spain. See you in the morning. Good morning, world. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everyone.
we have awoken to blue skies and it's our last day in Portugal. So we're now going to hop in Flora, drive over the border into Spain and then cross the border on foot to go and explore and find our activity for today. So we've been driving up and up these amazing roads up the side of the hill again and we are just a matter of moments away from the Spanish border, which hopefully we'll be able to film. I don't think it's going to be amazing, spectacular, but it might say something like, welcome to Spain. Hooray! Arriving at coordinates on the left. España! So we've left the van safely parked up. Just behind us, the road widens up and there's a few parking spots. Well, it's quite quiet at the moment, so hopefully it's safe there. And that is in Spain, and we've just crossed back over on foot into Portugal. So now, um, as promised, we've, we're going to do some more walking and we're going to see more Roman wall, waterfalls, and hopefully just some nice views. And it's very nice today, isn't it? Fresh, but nice and warm. Yeah, the sun is shining. So it should be a nice day, hopefully. Good old faithful, we now know where we're going. We made our way back to the Roman road, ready to walk another section of the ancient path dating back to the first century. We would love to walk the whole 320 kilometer stretch of the Roman Gira one day when we return to Portugal. So the walk has brought us quite deep into the valley and I don't know if you can hear it but there's quite a big river to our left and I think we're going to cross it over a rather quaint little bridge. The Mata da Albergaria is a protected forest that surrounds this part of the National Park. Parking your vehicle in the forest is strictly prohibited and enforced by rangers, hence why you must park on the other side of the border. So we've just broken away from the trail that follows the Roman road and we've come up and joined the main road that will eventually take us back to the van. Uh, we're going to walk along the road because it's going to be quicker and it's actually really quiet this time of year so it's quite pleasant. Um, but on the way we're going to stop for hopefully a really nice, maybe not epic lunch spot near a waterfall and then we'll be just a stone's throw away from the van and then we'll continue on into Spain. So we've walked back up the road, we realised we've walked a bit of a way more than we'd thought and it's time to hunt out the waterfall. Not really 100% sure on where we're going but I'm going to head up that way and hopefully find it. Let's uh, have a look down here so we can get a little bit closer. Portela do Homi Waterfall is one of the more popular waterfalls in the National Park. In the summer you'll find bathers taking a dip in this amazingly clear lagoon. Look, I don't think the camera is going to do it justice, but the colour of this water is absolutely incredible and it's crystal clear. I'm just wondering how warm it is. It's a shame it's not midsummer now. It's pretty cold, that. <laughs> Very refreshing. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. What a spot we have found. I think it's time for an epic look spot, do you not think? Too Can't cold. have been that long. <laughs> We spent a while at the water's edge, cheese and pickle roll in hand, soaking up the sunshine, before heading back up the hill to the van. 
So the waterfall was absolutely stunning and now we've got about 800 metres until we're back where we parked the van. And I think that's where we'll leave you here. That's the end of our Portuguese adventure. Uh, it's been so worthwhile coming up into the National Park. It's not all about the Algarve and all the beaches, is it? Yeah, as lovely as they are, this has been truly stunning and somewhere I'd definitely, definitely return back to, especially considering it's so close to the Spanish border. In a while, we'll probably do a proper video reviewing Portugal because there's been a lot that we've done and seen. Um, probably too much to process right now and give a proper um, feedback on it, but it's been brilliant. Yeah, it's just so varied. There's so much to see and uh, we have really, really loved it. Yep, and then, um, all we've got to do now is cross over the border and then we're in a bit of a rush, but I uh, will explain that maybe in the next video. Yes. But thank you very much if you watched the video this far and be following our journey. We really appreciate it. Leave us comments down below, all that good stuff. And we'll see you wherever we may be next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely.